Okay, so here's how these kind of problems work. We want to know delta H for this, okay? So I'll write delta H question mark, okay? You're given these others, and so let's say it's reaction 1, 2, 3, so we'll just call it delta H1, delta H2, and delta H3, okay? So what happens is you have these, these are kind of your elementary steps. And then this bottom one's called your overall reaction. You want to know delta H for the overall, and you're only given these three delta H's. Definitely a Hess's law question. These can be a little tricky. You'll see how this one goes. You also will want to check is everything balanced, because we might give you all the reactions and they're not balanced at all. So what you're going to do, again, these three have to add up to this one. Okay? So you need to manipulate these two. This is how I do it. I start here at the bottom and I look for each of these in the top reactions. Okay, So let's go like this. N2. Let's identify that. It's right here. Is it anywhere else? That's the only place I see it. Okay, O2. Let's make that a straight underline. Where is that? Reaction 2, and it appears in reaction 3, and I think that's it. Okay, now let's do this one. Uh, I'll just circle it. And O, find that one. So this is, if you have multiple pen colors, this is a great time to use it. NO is there, and I think that's it, right? So first, you start here in your overall, identify all of them there. Once you have those, make sure they're on the right side. These two have to be in the reactants, and they are. Okay? This one has to be in the products. It is. If it wasn't, I'd multiply it by negative one and flip the reaction over. Alright, so that part's fine. Now, let's just march through one at a time on these. It's nearly random what order you pick them in. I'll just start with the first one. This one, there's one of them. It's right here, there's one half. I gotta multiply this reaction by two. Times 2. That means I multiply the delta H times 2. Once I multiply a reaction by something, I don't want to touch it again. So I should not change this again. Unless I find out I've made a gruesome error somewhere. Okay, next. Uh, O2, I could go here next, but it appears twice. That's kind of confusing for my brain. I don't want to mess with that yet. I'm going to go straight to the end O because it only appears once. It's always easier to mess with the things that appear once only. So I'm going to go straight to the NO. It's twice here, once here. Okay? Multiply this by 2. Does that make sense? Now I've got two NOs where they're supposed to be in the products. I've got an N2, one of them, and it's in the reactants. Check, check. My last one's O2. I need one here. Now you see why it's helpful that I multiply this one first. 2 times 5 fourths is 5 halves. And then, what am I going to do with 5 halves and 1 half to get 1? Multiply by 5. Multiply this by 5. I need it. the final answer to be 1. So if you write it kind of in scratch here. This one is set. You can't touch it anymore. You can't mess with this because I already multiplied it. This must be 5 halves. So 5 halves plus 1 half. This is not yet multiplied. 1 half. I can multiply it by something. I'll just say x. Has to equal, must equal 1. What's x? Negative 3. Negative 3, is that okay? X is minus 3. Is there any questions on that? 5 halves of minus 3 halves, or 2.5 minus 1.5 is 1. So I've actually got to multiply this by minus 3. I'm actually flipping it and multiplying by 3 is what we're doing. Okay, now before we do all that, 
What are these that are un not underlined column? Intermediates. intermediates. They must, all intermediates, anything not underlined or circled, must cancel out to here. Uh, so let me tell you a couple tricks. One is, if you've done this right, they're going to cancel. You don't even need to check. You can, depending on how confident you feel. Right? If you're confident, forget about it. But let's say we're not confident. So let's double check what happens to them. So let's pick uh, ammonia. There's two here in the reactants and two in the products. That's gone. Let's pick uh, H2. There's three here in the reactants and minus three, or really three in the products. That's gone. That's good. Let's say what's left. Water. There is three here in the products and minus three, or really three in the reactants. That's gone. Done. The answer is delta H is equal to two times delta H for reaction one, whatever that number is. It doesn't matter. Plus two times delta H for reaction two, whatever that number is. Plus or really minus 3 times delta H uh, for reaction 3. Now, because I could do some of this in my head, I didn't write it down as much, which is fine if you can do that. But somehow, this minimum, this is what you should be writing down. If you need to add it up and see how things cancel, that's totally fine. Okay, any questions?